Lesson 5.5, multiply one-digit numbers by multiples of 10. We can model multiplying by one-digit whole numbers by multiples of 10 by using base 10 blocks, drawing a quick picture, or by using place value and regrouping. So remember, a multiple is the product of two counting numbers. If one of the factors is a multiple of 10, the product will be a multiple of 10. We have 3 times 20 is equal to 60. This factor 20 is a multiple of 10. 10 times 2 is equal to 20. The 60 is also a multiple of 10. 6 times 10 is equal to 60. These are both multiples of 10. One of the factors is a multiple of 10. That means the product will be a multiple of 10. And if one of the factors is a multiple of 10, it will have a zero in its ones place. That means there'll be a zero in the ones place of the product. Here we have 3 times 40 is equal to 120. 40, this factor, is a multiple of 10, and it has a zero in the ones place. That means the product is going to have a zero in its ones place. Now, if you're very confused about multiples, there'll be a link to video 4.2 where we first talked about multiples back in chapter 4. And also, hopefully by the time you finish watching this video, you'll completely understand about multiples. Here we have some base 10 blocks, base 10 squares. This is 1. It represents 1. Here we have a strip of 10, that's 1 times 10, or 10 of these little ones. And here we have 10 of these all put together to make 10 of them. 10 times 10, that's 10 tens. That's 100 of these little single ones. So that's 100, that's 10, and that's 1. There are four buildings with 30 apartments in each building. How many apartments are there in all? We have four buildings, one, two, three, four. They have three strips of 10 to represent 30 for each one. So we have four groups of 30. That's equal to four times 30. And that's equal to four times three tens because 30 is three tens, isn't it? Our basic facts are four times three, that's equal to 12. So 4 times 3 tens is equal to 12 tens. We can regroup the 12 tens as 10 tens plus 2 tens. That's 100 plus 2 tens. We have 100 plus 20. That means there's 120 apartments in the four buildings in all. If we don't have base 10 blocks, we can make them with grid paper and color them in. Or we could draw lines like this to represent tens. You could even make a bar with ten little squares in it to equal ten. Our problem is three times forty, which is equal to three times four tens. Forty is four tens. And our basic fact is three times four. That means we have three times four tens, which is equal to twelve tens. We make Three groups of four tens. Here's one group of four tens, another one, and another one. So we have three of them. And we can circle ten tens. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We circle these ten tens to make a one hundred. Now we have a one hundred and two tens. We have one hundred twenty in all. We can use place value and regrouping to find the product. We have 50 times 5. We have our 1s and our 10s. First, we multiply the 1s. We do 5 times 0, which is 0. Then we multiply the 10s, so we're going to have to go on an angle. We do 5 times 5, which is 25. So we have 5 times 5 tens, that's 25 tens, that's 250. 50 times 5 is equal to 250. So start doing the ones straight up and down, 
Then you multiply this factor to the tens place on an angle like this, and you write in the product. We had 25 tens. We regroup the 25 tens as 10 tens, which is 100, another 10 tens, which is 100. That makes 20 tens, doesn't it? We add the 5 tens as a 50. We have 200 5 tens and 0 ones. We have 250. We can find the products by using place value and regrouping. We start with the ones place. We have 70 times 4. We do 4 times 0, which is equal to 0. Now we do 4 times 7 tens. 4 times 7 is equal to 28, so 4 times 7 tens is equal to 28 tens. It's equal to 280. We do the same thing for this one. We start with the ones place and do 7 times 0. 7 times 0 is equal to 0. Now we multiply the 7 to the tens place. Our basic fact is 7 times 2, which is 14. That means we have 7 times 2 tens, which is 14 tens. We have 140. Again, we start with the ones place and do 0 times 3, or 3 times 0, which is equal to 0. Then we multiply the 3 to the 9 tens. 3 times 9 is equal to 27, so 3 times 9 tens is equal to 27 tens. 90 times 3 is equal to 270. So keep working on memorizing your multiplication facts. You want to definitely know them before you start fourth grade, and by now you should have memorized the zeros, ones, twos, fives, and tens all the way up to 10, and you need to know them as quick as you know one plus one. Okay, so keep working on them. We can find an unknown factor. Here we have A as our unknown factor. That's a variable, isn't it? It's a letter of the alphabet. So that's our unknown number. A times 40 is equal to 240. We need to know what A is equal to. We can think basic facts. Something times 4 is equal to 24. Well, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So 6 times 4 tens would be equal to 24 tens. We know A must be a 6. Here we have the product first. Some equations are like that. We have 180 is equal to B, that's our unknown number, times 20. We need to find the value of B. So we think 18 is equal to some number times 2. Using basic facts, we know 9 times 2 is equal to 18. So 18 tens is equal to 9 times 2 tens. B must be equal to 9. So when one of the factors has a 0 and the product has a 0, we can use basic facts and think something times 4 is equal to 24, or something times 2 is equal to 18 to help us find the missing number. Here we have a word problem, and I've circled the important information. Tala's school bought five packages of balloons for a pep rally. Each package had 30 balloons. If 15 balloons were not used, how many balloons did they use for the pep rally? So, we have the important information circled that there were five packages of 30 and that 15 balloons were not used. We need to find how many they used in all. We find out what five packages of 30 is equal to, then we subtract the 15 they didn't use. We have 30 times 5. We start with the ones place, 5 times 0 is 0, then we multiply the 5 to the tens place, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. We know there were 150 balloons bought, but they didn't use 15 of them. 150 minus the 15 they didn't use, when we regroup, we can't have 0 and take 5 away, so we regrouped a 10 from the tens place. That became a 4, now the 0 became a 10, 10 minus 5 is 5, 
4 minus 1 is 3. We drop down the 1. We know that we're 135 balloons used in all. So we had to break this word problem into two different parts. Finding how much 5 packages of 30 were, getting the product, and then subtracting the balloons they didn't use to find out how many they used in all. A multiple is the product of two counting numbers. For the multiples of two, it would be anything coming down the column for two or going across the row for two in the multiplication table. It would be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and we could keep on skip counting by two. Those are all the multiples of two. They are the products of two in the multiplication table. And two and another number. For the multiples of three, they're the products of three and some other counting number on the multiplication table. So we could go down the column for three, and all of these are multiples of three. And we could go across the row for three. These are all multiples of three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and we could continue on. The multiples of four are all the products of four in the multiplication table coming down the column or going across the row. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, and so on. Now, some counting numbers have multiples in common with each other. Can you see in this list of multiples for 2 if there are any in common with the multiples of 3? Do you see the same number in both lists? There's a 6 here, and there's a 6 here. 6 is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 3. Do you see any other numbers they have in common? You look at this list and look at this list. Can you find them? They both have a 12. That means 12 is a multiple of 2 and it's a multiple of 3. Do you see another number that they have in common on this list? Look. They both have an 18 in common. 18 is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 3. And we can look at the list of multiples of 2 and 3 and see what they have in common with the multiples of 4. Look, here's a 12. Look, multiples of 3 has a 24, and there's a 24 for the multiples of 4. Look, there's an 8 for the multiples of 2, and the multiples of 4 has an 8. So they have some multiples in common with each other. Here's a list of the multiples of 5. It's all the numbers coming down from the 5 in the multiplication table. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. See? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. These are all multiples of 5. They are the products of 5 and another number, another counting number, and the multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Coming down the column for 10, it's all of these products or going across the row. Those are all the multiples of 10. And the multiples of 5 and multiples of 10 have some numbers in common. Look, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and we could continue on and find more in common with each other. So just remember that a multiple is the product of that number and another counting number. So now you should be able to multiply one-digit whole numbers by multiples of 10, either as an equation, like we did way over here, or by using base 10 blocks, or drawing a quick picture like we did here with the lines to make bars of 10, or, again, as an equation using place value and regrouping. This is the end of chapter five. Chapter six is all about division. So keep working on memorizing your multiplication facts. It's gonna help you. You'll be able to go faster and do better, and you won't be so frustrated if you can get them memorized. You should be working on memorizing those threes now that you have the zeros, ones, twos, fives, and tens memorized. I'll see you next time. 
Have a really good day. I hope you're doing well. Bye.